Hey guys, Amanda here. Yes, that's me hiding behind the fan only because I do not have a stitch of makeup on and I do not let anybody see me without makeup. Oh my god. But I'm gonna have to so I can show you all how this foundation works. This is the foundation I was telling you about. Just the cheek foundation that um, absolutely blew my mind. <laughs> and the powder, the loose powder that goes with it. So, okay. I guess since other girls can bury it all and show their face, I'm gonna have to do it myself. But, um, okay, I warn you, I look totally different without my makeup and I absolutely do not have um, my eyebrows fixed either. I'm very self conscious, I can't say that word, about my brows because they are so fine and so thin and so light that they look terrible. But here I am guys, all of me, I'm ugly. But anyways, this is what 40 year old skin looks like. Puffy eyes, dark circles, fine lines and wrinkles, my big old nose, but um, okay, you can ask anybody that knows me well that I don't like to go anywhere without my makeup on. I mean, I'm, what makeup I'm going to do tonight is just a simple little, you know, what I would do every day. Just if I had to go to the store, if I go had to, you know, if I had to go pay bills, just something simple. So. Um, be kind if you do comment on this um, for me to do this video um, it took a lot it really did because I um, I'm always beating up myself um, I am my own worst enemy I always pick out my flaws and um, for me to do this video I must really want to have a successful YouTube channel and make friends. That's what I want most of all is to make friends. And I have made um, a ton of amazing friends. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give some of you all a shout out. And um, so let's get started. Okay, I am going to clip up my hair, overlook my gray hair. Oh the joys of being 40. The gray hair and the fine lines and wrinkles and the big puffy. I have naturally puffy eyes. I really do. Um, the deal with my nose, guys, why I am so self, how, how would you say it? Self-critical? <laughs> I guess that's a word. Self-conscious -con about it? I guess. I don't know. Is um, I had a bad car accident and uh, my nose had hit the steering wheel and it broke it right here well actually it was um they said it was a a fine uh, crack in my nose but i think it's it was worse than that then i had gotten to a fight with some bigger girls at school i was friends with two girls that liked the same guy and i was friends with both girls so of course i was stuck in the middle i knew about the guy going out with the other girl which wasn't his girlfriend at the time and cheating on the other girl and I when she found out about it she she was she found out she was pregnant at the time as well and long story short she um, the other girl had quit school so I was there by myself to try to defend myself and I about got the life beat out of me by I mean I was always tiny in school I'm tiny now I've always struggled with you know weight issues not being able to gain weight because of my stomach and belly issues and um, I was just as tiny I was about 80 pounds in high school and um, she got her her bigger cousins two of her bigger cousins and her sister her sister was about the same size as me um, to fight me and yeah little old me had a pair of brass knuckles if y'all know what that is and I kind of fought back with them but we went to court. It was proven self-defense. We all 
ended up growing up and apologizing for our, our little fight that we had. Well, it was a big fight back then, but my nose got broke the first time. That was the first time. The second time, my car accident, so yeah, there's my big old nose. Right here, I gotta go to the doctor and get this checked out because it is, um, I guess, a deviated septum and my um, nostril right here, I guess it's collapsing, so. Oh well, this is what I'm stuck with. I can't afford uh, plastic surgery, so I'm stuck with it. I am already um, moisturized. Um, I use um, it Confidence in a Cream. I love that. I have honestly, I've been using it for about three months now three months now and I can honestly see a difference in my fine lines and wrinkles. I used to have a real big frown line right here and it has honestly faded. You know my puppy eyes I get those from my dad but it doesn't help those but it has made my pores smaller and it does it has helped with the fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm up close and personal on this one. Alright so what I do you're probably going to laugh at me when you see how I do my makeup, but what I do is you can see it. And I just squirt a little bit right there. That's probably too much. I take my dirty beauty blender. <laughs> and sometimes I use this brush. I absolutely love this brush that we got in a Boxy Lux. It is the Luxie 732 Airbrush Foundation Brush. I love this, but... I am going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, a beauty blender. So you can kind of see how it, it blends in. Wait, let's see, I'm gonna look in this mirror. Okay, I'm covering up. I have some sunspots from being in the sun. Or they may be age spots, I don't know. I just have just a little bit here and there. But first, we'll just, um, We'll just work on this right here. I mean, it ain't absolutely the best foundation, but it amazed me. Sometimes I don't just bounce my booty blender on my face. I do kind of rub it in. <laughs> and I make all kinds of crazy faces. I set for 45 minutes the other night. I don't know why I keep looking up here. I should be looking right there. But I set for 45 minutes the other night and made a video about my plunder jewelry. Went in to edit it up and deleted it. 
So now after I do my makeup, I think we're going to do a plunder video. So you may see me in the same shirt, so. Sorry. 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 Instead of looking at the lens, I keep looking at myself. <laughs> and it dries fast, so you got to have it blended in. probably done this all wrong but we all do our makeup different I do not pluck my eyebrows this thin. I guess it's just from over the years in high school plucking them so thin, they just hardly grow back. They have grown back a lot because I do at night I put um, Vaseline. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I had a brain for I put Vaseline on my lips, make them soft, and I put Vaseline on my eyelashes my eyebrows and it has honestly made my lashes grow. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I better blend this in for it dries. And it has helped my um, my eyebrows grow a little. But my mom has real fine and thin hair. I don't have um, my hairstylist says that my hair is thick. It's just fine but it's not thin. It, it is a thick consistency, but I don't, I don't think it feels thick on my face. Is what I'm saying. Okay, and then what I do next is I take this. Uh, we got this in a boxy. This is the Moda Pro. BMX 130 pointed. This is pointed blush, but I use it for my powder. And I take my trusty fine china, is what we call it here in, in Kentucky, in my part of Kentucky. This is our fine china, a paper plate, styrofoam plate. And this stuff is messy, so I'll put a little this one, I have one that's just translucent, but this one is medium translucent. And I'll just sprinkle. Put just a tad bit on there. Look, I've had this for months, and I still have a ton. It was $2 at Family Dollar. I think you can get it at the Dollar General for $3. 
and I think this was $3, 3 or $4 at Family Dollar. I think it may be the same price at Dollar General. So, but every time I see it in my color, I try to, to get extra of it. So I, I have some, I even bought a darker color cafe, but I think it looks a little too yellow toned, but I can always mix it. deep tan and then I also have a golden beige that I use sometimes in the um, in the winter time if I don't have a, a tan but you know like I've been trying to keep a little bit of a tan okay so I just dab this little point in there and then start blending it in even if your foundation is a little dark it powder does lighten it up a bit. I think I hear my husband sitting here listening to me and it makes me so nervous. <laughs> it really does. always finding me cute little photography things. Mm. I totally have foundation lips. Okay. Next I do uh, I, know, I do um, maybe a bronzer. I think I'm going to do maybe I'm going to do a, a contour. Let me remember. 
Burke, no. Yeah, Burke's outlet. Um, for like seven dollars. I don't know why it was so cheap, but it's the original. And I take this brush. probably use this as a face powder because it's it's matte and it's so dark you just really can't tell that I'm doing like a wand and contour. this Ofra highlighter. The Nikki Me 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 Tutorials. I got that one. I mean, I've got quite a few highlighters here, but I'm trying to... You want to see my favorite go-to. That is my favorite go-to. It is Precious Petals. That's my all-time favorite, but I want to play with something different. I'm not going anywhere to not. It's after 10 o'clock and I've already got my shower and cleaned my face real good and moisturized real good. Put my confidence in a cream on and now I gotta take all this off and clean my face real good again. <gasps> okay, so we're gonna go with this one. I got makeup all over my hand and I don't wanna, excuse me, get this dirty. This is gonna be a long video. It's already 22 minutes, so I apologize. These are the colors we have. We have Space Baby, Glazed Donut, and Glow Goals. Sheer Cover Studio makeup collection that I had ordered off TV years ago and I still have but it's like the concealer will cover up tattoos and it's just I mean as dark as this tattoo is I could cover it and believe it or not this stuff right here this hard candy glamouflage it covers tattoos as well but, um I mean I have a uh, load of different brushes that's just out and then I have a drawer full of brushes that's never been opened <laughs> and I have all these brushes that's like and I've used dirty ones but I always seem to go with this one right here so let's see or this one this little um Lexi brush I don't know okay we'll use the Lexi on the cheek thinking of calling my channel Amanda Rambles because I ramble on. I talk about one thing and then I'll skip to another and then I'll come back to what I was first talking about. I ramble. I've always been like that. And I'm bad for, um, I say fur instead of for. <laughs> I'm bad for um, mispronouncing words and I can't um, speak correctly. I just, I have my own way of saying things and I get that from my dad. And I think it's cute when my dad does it, but it's just habit. That's just, I was raised to speak the way that I speak. And that is just me. That's what makes me, me. Makes me Amanda. Okay, we are going to use Glam Goals. 
It's probably gonna be, I don't know, too bright maybe. I do have a new one, but I still have plenty left. I'm starting to hit pan. This is my favorite go-to. And a little trick that I've learned over my 30-some um, years of wearing makeup, um, probably 40 years I played with makeup when I was a little girl, is to make your eyeliner, which I don't use a liquid eyeliner. I just use a regular pencil eyeliner and um, to get it to stay, because I'm bad for rubbing my eyes like this, to get it to stay, I will uh, put just a little, I'll use a brush like this. <laughs> yeah, I'll still use a brush like this. And i just put a little bit on here. And I'll put it right at my, um, where my eyelashes are, whatever that's called. And I'm just kinda, Blend it in. And then too, you put powder on your eyelashes, it's supposed to make your mascara stick. So I just go over my whole eye and then I just dab a little bit, just right on the end of that, and I'll go under my eye. And that helps that eyeliner stay. not white it's like I mean it blends in fairly good with my skin these um, green new lights is making me look super bright and you can see my poor puffy eyes okay so after I do that I grab me a drink of my cappuccino stuffer for Christmas and it was just some makeup that Ulta had on sale and the brand is just a little off brand from Ulta and it is called Sweet and Shimmer and it's just a black eyeliner pencil and it comes with a little uh, sharpener and let me see if I can get my, my one that I, I used down to the very last little nub <laughs> there's nothing left but I'm not throwing it away yet for me there's still plenty um, this, I'm sorry I keep looking at myself, this eyeliner lasts, for me it lasts all day. I don't know if it's just where I, I put the, the eyeshadow right here. And oh, and then too, I'll show you a trick to what might help, um, help it stay on, but I think I'm going to use my new one for this video. It's getting sharpened, so. Just do a fine line. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be stretching my arm, but I do. And I can 
can't talk when I'm doing this. If you hear water running, that's my pea puffer's uh, filter in his tank. It's about time for him to get um, some fresh water. And his tank in a good clean. just wears I think she just does the liquid uh, black liquid liner and she does it on the top of her eyes and does a little wing and it just it looks so cute she didn't even put eyeliner mascara in the bottom but she's just she's adorable she don't need to wear makeup maybe I can get her to come do a, a tutorial on how she does her makeup but um anyway I fix this little corner all the way to the end of my eye, like that way, up on the outside right at my lash line, and I just go about a little bit past the middle of my eye. Like taller, up a little thicker, I guess, thicker than the rest. But there's that up, and then what I do is I take a little bit of this, not as much as I did when I first put it on. Sometimes there's some left, but if there's not left on here, but there is, but if not, I'll dab just a little tiny bit right here on the end, and then I'll kind of go over top. Not completely on top of the eyeliner, but like above it, like touching the top line of it. And it kind of keeps it from running. And then I'll pat on the bottom too. Make sure you get that quarter. And it kind of helps it last. And let's do the other eye. on nails. Oh, this is going to look terrible. If I'm not trying to make it perfect, I'm not going anywhere but bed. But I'm not going to make it to bed. Next, 
<laughs> my bad, my brow pen looks terrible. I got a ton of brow products, and I've got white tea say though. I've got this that's been used like twice. This whole brow set with any kind of brow product you can think of that has just been black played with, but this is what I go to. Don't forget, guys, giveaway. Get, I think I said 250. It was going to be 300. I think I said 250. If I can get to 250, 300, 250, I don't know. Whatever comes first. <laughs> um, it's going to be a giveaway. And another palette, too. I got another palette coming. Um, but, anyways, my brow product I use. I have a new one. So you can see that because all the colors worn off of it and it's like so super duper little but this is and I get them when they're on sale this is the BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Pencil my favorite go-to used to be this right here and I have a few of these because my mother-in-law would buy them when she would catch them on sale and she would uh, um, keep me supplied in these so I've got about three or four of these it's never been used and this is the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil and the color that I use, I think it's called Universal Taupe on that one. But for the BH Cosmetics, the color is, what is the color? Brunette. Yeah, the color is brunette, but it's not too dark, it's not too, too light. Now this kind of takes me a while, so I apologize if I'm not talking a lot for little brows. And you look terrible. I do need to pluck right through there. I'm dropping that, so I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. This one is helping. Mainly all I plug is just the strays that grow right here. Right here. And there's a few strays that grow right here, but other than that, they don't hardly grow. Um, 
I get really tan and I don't have makeup on and my brows are so white, like from a distance, it looks like I do not have eyebrows. It's terrible. It's not by choice. takes the longest my eyebrows and my mascara they do not look perfect but I do take time and try to fix them <laughs> BH Cosmetics Brow Defining Kit Trio. I love that. But on a rainy day, I'm like like this. Or when I'm sweating, <laughs> I'm like this. But I do find something that absolutely, I mean, I have so many brow products. Just trying to find that one brow product to work that won't, that looks good and that doesn't, you know, sweat off or when it rains, it don't fall off. And I paid twenty-eight dollars for this Wonder Brow stuff. Sometimes I can. Um, it come with a brush. Well, you had to buy it separate. A little like brow butt brush, kind of like. I didn't even talk to me. I guess we're getting light and getting tired. It comes with like a brow brush like this, but really thin. Sometimes I can, I wish I would have got a little bit of a darker color because this is honestly like too light, but I can make it work. And sometimes when I have time to really use this, then like I'll use it like on a, a rainy day or a really hot day and it does not go anywhere. I put it on, this is after I took my, my bath and washed my face and moisturized and all that. Um, I have put, put it on just to kind of like sleep, sleep in it, woke up the next morning, same thing, I put my makeup on, it stayed on, it stayed on for like three days, would not, I mean I washed my face, would not come off, and the only way that I could get it to come off is baby oil, I just, I, I used a baby wipe and baby oil and it finally came off after about three days, and that's because I made it come off. So the Wonder Brow stuff is, is really good, but you have to know how to work it, and I don't know how to work it to make it look. See, I have sparse brows. If, if I had a lot more brows, then it would have something to stick to, but right now, I, I don't. In certain spots, I don't have brows. As I get older, my brows is like starting to fall out, and I kind of worry that it might have something to do with um, a health issue that they think I may have, um, lupus. I've not been completely diagnosed with it yet, but based on some of the other health problems that I have, um, is all signs of lupus, and I have been putting off going to the doctor to find out about it. Yeah, I know I shouldn't do that. Cancer's really bad on my side of the family. Um, on my dad's side, heart attacks at a young age, kidney disease, diabetes. You know, my daughter is type 1 diabetic, and it was on my mom's side and my dad's side both. It skipped me and my mom and dad, but now my mom and dad are type 2 diabetic, and more than likely I'll end up with it. But at least I know how to take care of it. Anyways, I just kind of blend this in. Does not look perfect, but big difference. Big difference. So on to the next one.
small it looks the same. This video is 45 minutes long. Alrighty. So I apologize. So I'm sure nobody will stay through this and watch it. <laughs> the last few videos that I've done, I've said, you know, if you've watched this video, completely through in the comments um, type this code word just to see who did watch it um, so if you did watch this video and if you uh, can't if you watched it in the comments put the word mermaid mermanda yep and then that's how I know you've watched it <clears throat> But if you didn't, it's okay. I understand. I am a bit boring. A lot boring. But, um, this is how I used to wear my brows in high school. Can I do that? I can do this as well, but <clears throat> look as the night's getting later, I'm losing my voice. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But I've lived here for so long. This is the area, I, you know, the area I was raised <clears throat> from a small child. This is where my dad's family was. But I've lived here so long that I know um, I can pretty much tell by the sound of somebody's car who's going by. Anybody else do that? I think I got this brow a little more pointed. See, I would rather my brows have been that light, but I made them too dark on that side. See, that side don't look too bad. I'm going to have to darken this one up. I'm absolutely having a hot flash. Everybody has their own little way of um, doing makeup and things that they like to say, but I absolutely, and if you say it, I'm sorry, I apologize, I'm sorry, but I cannot stand it, especially like with Jeffree Star, he'll say, come on brows, come on foundation, or they'll say, talking about their um, eyeshadow or eyeshadow color, and they'll say, oh, she's pretty, oh, she's She's hot. I don't like that. It's crazy. And, and a lot of the big time beauty, I call them beauty tubers, they do it. And I just, I don't know, I just feel like it's, they're trying to be somebody that is already that somebody. Does that make sense? Oh God, that one's totally bigger. That one looks pretty good. process. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to make this uh, all about the brows. Oh, that. I 
same little brush or I'll take this brush and I just kind of go over my brows and my eyes and it kind of helps it to stay it really does if, they, if they're too dark it kind of lightens them up and it kind of helps my, um, my brow product and my eyeliner stay on okay and next we will we will go to the I'm sweating. Okay, um, we are going to go into this, which I already did. Is that a little bit more? I think I'll make it too bright. And for a woman my age, if you have fine lines and wrinkles like I do, try to avoid putting anything shimmery right like there in that area. Makeup Sweet Cheek Blush Palette. Um, I am going to I don't think it says the colors. But I am going to go in with let's see. I should go in with that color right here since I got an orange shirt on. Oh, I 
like go-to colors, I would go with these right here. Maybe even that one. But these right here would be the ones that I would absolutely go to. But let's be crazy. And let's use this orange right, this orange right there. The orange and the brown. Let's start with this brown right there. Sweating so much, I'm already getting so always burn my big old nose. But the thing is, is it does not separate. Uh, it hasn't yet. So that's why this foundation and powder really surprises me. Hmm. Oh my god, these brows. These brows look terrible. Alright. We got some blush on. If I'm wearing like a like a little spaghetti strap shirt, I'll put some highlight on my shoulders, like some tip, and then my collarbones that stick out right here that I hate so much. But Start with my superhero, which is probably so almost dried and clumped up, but then I'll still try. Look 
too good. I'm gonna keep working with it with this same coat while it is still wet, but it's starting to clump up. which this is the Unlashed Wonder Beauty Volume and Curl Mascara. And this brush kind of spreads, spreads my lashes out. Oh dear God. That superhero just ain't my cup of tea. Even when it was brand new when I got it in a boxy, it is so thick and clumpy. I do it seems like it makes it clumpy but more if I go all the way down to the lash line. Mm 
off my lips and putting um I don't know like um chapstick I usually just keep chapstick or a little like Vaseline or something on my lips that's what I do that's my makeup watched it and remember if you watched it till the end put in the code word that I told you to and that way I know <laughs> if you didn't that's okay but um okay guys I am going to do uh I guess a plunder video of some of my plunder makeup or oh my god my plunder jewelry plunder makeup I need to go to and um, I appreciate everybody that leaves me a comment and everybody that um, just supports me and uh, communicates with me. I appreciate you all more than you know. Um, there's quite a few of you ladies that I want to give a shout out to and um, I am going 
to write everybody's name down. And in my plunder video, I will mention your name. 